Once upon a time, in the vibrant neighborhood of Sesame Street, a peculiar event was about to unfold. Elmo and Big Bird, two beloved characters who had always been the best of friends, found themselves caught in the midst of an unexpected disagreement. What started as a simple misunderstanding quickly escalated into a full-blown war, threatening to tear apart the very fabric of Sesame Street. It all began one sunny day when Elmo, feeling rather mischievous, decided to play a prank on Big Bird. Elmo thought it would be hilarious to hide Big Bird's favorite teddy bear, Mr. Snuggles, and watch him frantically search for it. Little did Elmo know that Big Bird had been having a rough day and was already on edge. When Big Bird discovered Mr. Snuggles missing, he immediately suspected Elmo. Consumed by anger and frustration, he confronted Elmo, demanding the return of his cherished toy. Elmo, taken aback by Big Bird's sudden outburst, denied any involvement in the teddy bear's disappearance. The tension between the two friends grew with each passing day. Elmo, feeling unfairly accused, decided to retaliate. He began hiding Big Bird's favorite snacks, sabotaging his performances, and even spreading rumors about him. Big Bird, unable to understand why Elmo was acting this way, felt hurt and betrayed. News of the conflict spread throughout Sesame Street, causing distress among the other residents. The once happy neighborhood was now divided, with some taking sides while others tried to mediate. The Muppets, led by Kermit the Frog, attempted to bring peace between Elmo and Big Bird, but their efforts proved futile. As the war escalated, Sesame Street became a battleground. The air was filled with flying feathers and cotton fluff, as Elmo and Big Bird engaged in epic pillow fights. Cookie Monster, who had always been neutral, tried to negotiate a truce using cookies as a peace offering. However, his efforts were met with rejection from both sides. Meanwhile, the residents of Sesame Street were growing tired of the constant chaos. Grover, feeling particularly courageous, decided to take matters into his own hands. He approached Elmo and Big Bird, reminding them of their shared history and the joy they had brought to Sesame Street. With tears in his eyes, Grover pleaded, Elmo, Big Bird, please remember who you are. You are friends, and Sesame Street needs you to be friends again. We miss the laughter and happiness you brought to our lives. Elmo and Big Bird froze, realizing the weight of their actions. They looked around at their beloved neighborhood, now in ruins, and saw the sadness in the eyes of their friends. In that moment, they realized that their war had gone too far. Elmo and Big Bird dropped their weapons and embraced, tears streaming down their feathers and fur. They apologized to each other and vowed to never let their friendship be torn apart again. Sesame Street rejoiced as harmony was restored, and the residents worked together to rebuild what had been lost. From that day forward, Elmo and Big Bird became inseparable. They used their experiences to teach the importance of forgiveness and understanding to the children of Sesame Street. Their friendship became stronger than ever, and the laughter and joy returned to the neighborhood, reminding everyone that Sesame Street was a place where love and friendship always triumphed over conflict.